What is up, what's up, what is up, FS Club? Welcome back to the channel, guys. Well, it is that time again. Time for some FS Daily News. I know it's actually been a minute. Well, this is actually the first FS Daily News for 2021. Like always, guys, if you guys are already done, make sure you just put in the comment section below, hashtag FS Daily News. You know what? Let's just roll that intro and let's get news. Here we go. Okay, so the first piece of news to go over is this one right here. We've been getting a lot of questions asking us when are mods coming back? Well, here it is. There will be no new mods tested and uploaded until January 11th. Their team will be back well rested to approve new mods in no time, which I'm expecting they're gonna have a huge list to test. Also, remember, this is the earliest, earliest when mods will come out. So it might take a few more days until it to actually start rolling out, but just be patient and it will come very soon. Okay, the next piece of news is this one right here. This is from JHHG Mod, and they have this to say, can't even call it a new mod, but it will be a nice addition to great original mod. The original one is from Giant Software, but anyways, about these changes, the LSW1430R46 single dual configurations will be added, vertical axis and Z position for realistic effect, few small changes on motor and frame UDA materials, and then small changes on the AO specular map dirt. Rebranded tire models going to be available for consoles. So this will be coming out to all platforms. Cannot wait for this one right here. And after that, we have something from Custom Modding. This is on the Demco Grain Cart 22 series that'll be coming out to all platforms, but they have this to say about it. To start the year 2021, our first dev blog is about the Demco Grain Cart 22 series. Yes, we will have 3D tracks, but as a Terra track script. Progress though on it. Modeling is done. 20% UV mapping, 50% modeling. Initially, they decided to start with the 22 series, but with the smaller versions, the 1100 and the 1300. As they move forward, they'll be making the 1700 and the 2200. Cannot wait for this. This looks really good. Okay, and the next news is from Peter J Modding, which actually there's three pieces of news. The first one, the Mossy Ferguson 135 has been submitted to Giants Mod Up and hopefully will pass very soon. Remember, this will be coming out to all platforms. And then after that, they had this to say, High performance, outstanding feature specification, and clean modern styling together make the MF20 the finest tractor in its power class. For every type of job, it is truly the made of all work. So this should be going out to all platforms too. But also, they decided to make something else with it, which is the next piece of news. They've decided to give another use of the MF20. So the MF20 dumper was born. This looks good. I cannot wait for both of these tractors and that dumper. So this is from Peter J. Modding. Okay, and then after that, we have something from, of course, Pepe978. And this is a little bit of fact sheet on, of course, is a Vico 19038, which will be coming out to PC and all consoles very soon. And as you guys can see, 17 slots. We're getting actually a lot of trucks in the game, and they look really good. So there's that from Pepe. And the next piece of news after that is from Case Aries Modding. And of course, his Case Trident. The Case Trident base model is completely done. This is aimed for all platforms right here. This is just a few pictures to pretty much, you know, just tease us. I mean, I love this thing. This thing looks amazing right here. And I cannot wait for this. So there is that from Case Aries Modding. Okay, the next piece of news is from Shaba, and this is on his new map, Chainbag Valley, which this looks really good right here. As you guys can see from the pictures, this is the same creator that made the old farm countryside and La Granella. So, of course, the factory should work on it, and it's going to be really good with seasons right there. Also, he has teased us with the PDA, as you guys can see that. And then at the upper top, it says under construction. So, I wonder what's going to be there. Okay, and the next one to go over is from Polycount Mon, and they have this to say, hello everyone, I just want to show you that the JD W260 got lights and almost done with the interior. In a few days, they'll be completely finished and already in game. This looks really good right here. Hopefully it does get this sent off pretty soon because this looks, well, it looks amazing. Can't wait for the mower right here. And now we're on the last piece of news for today. This is from Sin Mani, and of course his John Deere X9 has been getting some changes. The first one though, he had this to say, new lights and four configurations available in the store. Visual aspect, also important. You will be able to choose your favorite version. New Midas wheel configurations also have been added too. And then as you see from these new pictures right here, he has actually added a new top, which looks really, really good. Uh, and then he had this to say, King of the Fields and Happy New Year's. So that is it from Sid Mani. I cannot wait for the John Deere X9 to land on consoles. Okay guys, so that was the news. That was everything for today. Today's schedule after this video, no other video until tomorrow. Tomorrow I'm probably gonna either have FS Daily News or new mods and maps coming soon showcase. But anyways, hopefully you guys have an amazing rest of your day. Remember, if you guys did like the video, make sure you guys do pound that like button. If you haven't sub, make sure you guys do. Like always, have an all day farmers. Peace.